All right, boys and girls, let's practice some of the words that we'll learn today with a soft G sound. Make sure you practice the words out loud with the teacher and you say them when it's the correct time. Good luck, boys and girls, and I hope you remember all the beautiful pictures you will see today. So remember, boys and girls, the most important rule is to look at the spelling of the word. If we see the spelling has the letters G-E or the letters G-I, or the letters G-Y, it will equal the J sound, like the letter J, 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 jump. Okay, G-E, G-I, G-Y. Remember it, G-E, G-I, G-Y. Now say it, G-E, G-I, G-Y. All right, if you can remember that rule, boys and girls, whenever you see those letters, make sure you make the J sound and not the G sound. Let's practice the first word, badge. Look at the spelling, the, a, d, j, badge, badge. A badge is basically something that you can wear. On the screen you can see a police badge, and if you look on the right hand side there are a few smaller badges with different pictures on. Okay, nice and easy. Let's say it one more time. Badge. Let's practice the next word. Page. 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 Remember the spelling is A blank E, so you must do the long A sound. P A J. Page. Very good. A page is a piece of paper from a book. One single page is a piece of paper. Two, we say pages. Remember in class, teacher asked you to turn to page 22. Then you must count 22 different pages to find the correct page. All right, let's go to the next word. The next word is magic. 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 A little bit faster, magic. Magic is when people use illusions and tricks to try and fool you. There are many different card magic tricks. There are magic tricks where people can pull a rabbit out of a hat. And there are, of course, different magic tricks that can even show people that they can fly. So one more time, magic. Let's practice our next word, gypsy. 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 In the olden days, before we were living in big cities, people called gypsies used to live in caravans and they would travel from city to city. They could even do small magic tricks as well by being able to read cards and tell you what will happen in the future. One more time, gypsy. For the next few slides, we'll be looking at some hard G words. Please remember, when you see the words G-A, G-O, G-U, or maybe even G plus any consonant, you will make the hard G sound, which is G. G. So make sure when we look at the pictures on the next few that you practice the hard G sound. First, we'll look at some, a word that has the spelling of the letters G-O. And I think you know this one before because it's one with the O-A sound, the long vowel O that we've practiced before. Let's practice the word. Goat. 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 All right. A goat is a small animal that you can find on a farm. Our next G-O word is gold. Gold. Remember to practice with the teacher. G-O-L-D. Gold. Right. Gold is a very precious metal that we find underground that we use to make things like jewelry, necklaces, bracelets, maybe even watches. 
Okay, and it is very, very expensive. One more time, gold. Here's another word that we practice with a long vowel A. Remember A blank E? Okay, today we're, this word we're going to be practicing with the G-A spelling is called a gate. Do you remember gate? Practice with me one more time. Gate. G-A-T. Gate. All right, a gate is something that we put around our house so we can get in and out of our property without anybody being able to break in. Any thieves or robbers cannot steal our cars because the gate is closed. One more time, gate. Let's practice the last word for today. Gum. Gum. It's a g, a, and a m mm sound. Gum. You might remember the word Bubble gum. We started calling bubble gum this name a long time ago because many people like to blow bubbles with their gum. But if you go to America, they will not say bubble gum, they will just call it gum. Hey man, do you have some gum for me? It's much easier to ask for than bubble gum. Remember, bubble gum is very bad to your teeth, lots of sugar, so don't eat too much of it. One last time, boys and girls, gum. All right, that's it for the slideshow today, boys and girls. Please make sure if you're struggling with any of the words, go back to the beginning of the video and try and practice the words one more time. You can listen to the video three or four or even five times. Remember, your voice is a muscle and the more we practice it, the stronger it gets. All right, boys and girls, I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.